Hey, it's Patrick from Nampy Cycles. This is our road test review of the Biltwell Lane Splitter. I've had my lane splitter here. This is my personal one right here. As you can see from some of the wear and tear for about two years, probably 10,000 or so miles on it and a bunch of hooligan races. Now, I would have had more miles on it, but I'm a little bit of a helmet hoarder and I have a bunch of helmets that I wear. And um, a lot of them are actually a little bit higher end than this helmet but I always come back to this one. This is my kind of Swiss Army knife of helmets. This is my go-to, my everyday workhorse. I didn't kind of expect that because uh, some of the higher end helmets have more bells and whistles than the lane splitter here, but this is a really, really functional helmet for 250 bucks. Uh, just some of the top line specifics, ABS shell, you know, EPS inside. It has a nice liner though. For 250 helmet, it's got a pretty nice liner. It's got like a brushed lycra and mesh removable liner. You can take it out and wash it, but it's also very, very comfortable. I've kind of upgraded mine here. I got a mirrored, I got a mirrored uh, shield on it and some hot rod hardware. But the one thing I like is it snaps down and seals up real good. It's got the little, little brass peg right here, snaps over that. A lot of helmets get real kind of fancy with their mechanisms. This one's real simple. It's got a big old uh, lip on it here, grab it with a glove and it'll pop up. You do have to have a tool to change the shield on this, but again, that doesn't bother me. Some of these mechanisms to change shields get real fancy and kind of quick release, end up fighting it. This is pretty meat and potatoes. If you have a dime in your pocket or a screwdriver, you can change it, no problem. Now it does have some venting. It has an open vent here in the chin that's open all the time. And then you have an exhaust back here. It really does pull the wind through there. If you have your shield closed though, you're not obviously gonna get as much as when it's open. But if I have a knock on this helmet is that you can't close the vent right here on the mouth. If you're riding a lot all day long it actually give you a little bit of a dry mouth. Um, I've used this in a ton of conditions, over hundred degrees a bunch of times and down actually under 30 this last September, uh, one of the Devilstone run, this was my helmet. And I was a little bit worried about getting cold with this. It has a removable chin bar. That's nice to have in the cold, but I found if I wanted to close this up a little bit, put a little piece of cloth or, or tape or something in here and I could kind of tune that a little bit. But like I said, for 250 bucks, this helmet has a ton of functionality. Other $250 helmets may not have. Stylistically, it's a killer. You know, it's got like old school drag racer styling. And they have a ton of colors and they are DOT and ECE approved. So for 250 bucks, I cannot recommend it enough. Like I said, I have a bunch of other more expensive helmets, but I always find myself coming back to the lane splitter. It's just a very, very utilitarian helmet. Um, it's my go-to every day. When I grab my keys from my bike, I grab my lane splitter. If you guys have any questions, you can always comment in the comment section below. If you like what you see here, tell your friends and subscribe to us. Go ride those motorcycles.